Da, 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 da. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings. Mm -mm. And I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Gaidentia. It's finally time to take on Rudolf himself. Oh, I've heard good things about this battle. Uh, Ray isn't online on Skype right now, so I'm doing this recording solo. So before uh, heading into this battle, I actually decided to go and level up some of the lower level units on my squad. Uh, I got some comments from people saying that, Mines, you aren't underleveled, it's just that you're using the same three units to kill everything, and that is very true. So, I gave Python a couple of levels, I promoted uh, Luthier and Delphia, gave Python... Yeah, how many levels did I give him? I don't even know. A lot of levels. And also leveled up Clive and Tatiana a little bit. So, because apparently, from what I've heard, this ma this mission right here is really fucking hard. So, uh, yeah, let's let's go do it. Also, Claire's a little big over there. I decided to keep have Claire keep me company for this recording. Then the fortress has fallen. It has, Your Excellency. Messina. I s we saw this guy before, right? I fear it's a matter of minutes until the deliverance reaches the castle doors. I believe this guy was in some cinematic or something. Very well. We shall greet them with a sea of blades. I leave the rest to you, Messina. As your will commands, Your Excellency. Now go. Is this guy like the loyal general archetype? Your Excellency, wait! Burkut. Sire, why have you not given me leave to join the front lines? I know I failed you at the border, but all the more reason I beg for this chance. A merciful leader may grant a second chance. Only a fool allows a third. Your Excellency! My army has no place for the weak. You'll remain here and watch in quiet. Oh, is this where he yells uncle? No. Please. This has to be... Have mercy, this has to be where he yells Your uncle. Excellency. Uncle! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, that has so much force behind it. I love it. Alright. Let's take a look. Shall we? So, um... This is the final map of Act 4, I believe? Act 5? Act 4? And here we have the boss himself. Rudolf. He's a gold knight. He has the angel ring, just like in Gaiden. And uh, his stats are pretty terrifying. And there's some pretty dangerous generics here as well. We got some barons with silver lances, we got gold knights with silver lances, and silver shields. Oh my god, they're gonna be impossible to take down. Holy shit. And we uh, we also have silver bow bow knights right here. I do see an opportunity to warp some units up here though, particularly this supply tile right here. If I could like, if I could get gray up here, and he can get gray to occupy the supply tile, he can probably kill all of these bow knights, which would be very very nice, because I see the hair that I'm probably, like, most of the fighting is probably gonna happen here in this courtyard, and then I'm gonna, like, get pincer attack from both sides. We don't want that to happen. So, yeah, we're definitely getting gray in here. We'll see if they come moving towards us or not. If they don't, then we might not have to, uh, do so much about it, but... Maybe having our barons on the front lines, maybe not such a terrible idea. Have them tank... Have them tank this bridge right here. Let's see how they move, first and foremost. They could be waiting for us to come to them, maybe. Of ah, Rudolph's gonna have his Emperor speech. You have fought with courage and skill at my side these long years, but the hour of reckoning is upon us. Our empire's light is guttering. Now heed my words well. If I should fall, my final order is that you lay down your arms and surrender. I hear the young Zophian general is a man of mercy. If you have any love and loyalty for me, you'll not waste your lives this day. That's Emperor Rudolf. So finally we get a uh, mission that's not just a route. This is strange. I'm not sure what I'm feeling at the moment. He's caused so much suffering, and I know I should hate him, but I can't. Not after he held such a grey villain speech, right? Instead, he just feels... I don't know. Familiar somehow? Hmm. Ohm, snap out of it, will ya? There's no time for daydreaming. We're at Regal Castle's doorstep, buddy. We need you focused. Now pull yourself together already. We didn't come this far to lose here. Leave it to Gray to snap Ohm right. out of his daydreaming. Sorry, Gray. All right, everyone. 
Let's do this. Hey, why don't you give like a motivating speech, Alm? Rudolph just gave one. He's gonna sit there and let us be unmotivated. Oh, listen to this music. Ho 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 Now that is what I call a fucking boss music. I've heard this before. I've listened to a lot of the uh, Echoes of Valencia soundtrack. It's amazing. I love the opera theme that Miguel has. Okay, so I think what we'll do here is we'll warp Grey up here. Like I said I would. And then I'm going to stat, uh, position him on that supply tile right there. Uh, also, Silk can summon Dread uh, Fighters right now, so I am probably going to do that. Come at me, fools. Alright, uh, I also noticed uh, something here. Seems like... Uh, seems like my my OBS hasn't completely... Uh, there we go. So sorry about this. <laughs> I just noticed that my OBS was a little bit uh, unsynced. There we go. Now it looks better. Gotta, gotta do these things on the fly with OBS, but the payoff is massively better quality. I mean, you really... I've really come to appreciate how much of a, an impact 60 FPS has on Fire Emblem and the newer Fire Emblem games in particular. But even the old ones, like the Game Boy Advance games, like 60 FPS really is a massive upgrade. Also, since I've been grinding some supports, I have a lot of them. So let's, uh, let's unlock them, shall we? Forsyth, I'm sorry, are you reading? <laughs> oh, um, hello, Lucas. It strikes me as unwise for you to have your head in a book at a time like this. <laughs> yes, you're probably right. But I swear, I'm paying attention to the battle. Please don't tell Sir Clive about this. Peace, friend. I was just looking out for you. If I may, which literary work has so enraptured your interest? Oh, this? It's an old tactical codex. My father lent it to me when I left home. Well, it's more like I took it. My father is a scholar, so I spent my childhood surrounded by books. Really? I didn't know. That must have been wonderful. I do enjoy a good page-turner. Yes, I've noticed that you're something of an avid reader. Guilty as charged. My father wouldn't have it, though. He insisted I train in the arts of war. What I wouldn't have given for just one full day, curled up with a good book. Really? Well, that's one way to look at it, I suppose. <sighs> hmm. All right, I really like that support. Actually, it's kind of cool. And then we have a uh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot of supports here. Holy shit! <laughs> Foresight, you all right there, pal? You haven't yelled at me yet. In fact, you never snap at me anymore. Don't tell me you've given up. No, I wouldn't call it giving up. But the excuses you come up with for not trying are beyond comprehension. <laughs> it's because you're not trying to comprehend them. Look, I'm not like other folks. I don't like chasing wildly after some dream. Dreams don't fill the belly. And they sure don't pay for life's other comforts. So you know what? I'm happier without them. Truly? Well, that sounds utterly depressing. But if you're happy, I'll let it be. But we are fighting a battle here. So perhaps a modicum of help is in order? <laughs> right, Captain. Oh. oh, somehow I doubt that. It's okay, we've given Python a couple of levels. He's better now, swear. Allow me. Oh, wow, holy shit, Clive has three supports unlocked. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Welcome to a Fire Emblem, the support news. Clive, what is it? The war is drawing to a close. I just wanted to offer thanks for your many services to the Deliverance. Without your fiery presence, we never would have made it this far. My fiery, fiery presence? presence. <laughs> Are you certain you aren't confusing me with someone? Or is this an attempt to cheer me up after our last heart-to-heart? -heart? Not, the, not the first word I would use to describe, Lucas. Uh, no, of course not. <sighs> and here I thought I was being subtle. People always see right through me in a way they never do you. Well, that's because I'm the cold and composed one. <laughs> Why do you keep me around, if not for my greatest virtue? <laughs> I think that was there, yeah. Uh, two supports in one turn, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Python. I'm glad I found you. Something wrong? I must confess, our last discussion has been weighing on me quite heavily. I seek to close the rift between the Deliverance's nobles and commoners. But there are days when it seems to only grow wider. 
Have I not endeavored to treat those of low birth fairly? I always thought to reward my men based on merit, not station. It's a big theme of Shadows of Valencia, this whole commoner versus noble thing. And yet you believe that some still struggle to fit in. Well, you won't win any points by using terms like low birth, sir. Ah, good, good point, Python. You make it sound like it's our privilege to be elevated to your level. Like, if we don't have your station, then all we really have are our merits. I never meant to slight you, Python. Nor anyone else. Yeah, I know that. And anyway, you didn't create the order of the world. It ain't your fault. But, respectfully and all, you might want to stop preaching understanding. You can't understand us. Not really. Your life is just very different. You're right. I've never had to worry about starving or freezing to death. I have never had to face the same indignities or despair as you. Yet in trying to champion those causes, perhaps I have become a hypocrite. Ah, uh, don't flog yourself about it. Lots of commoners want a champion like you. Hell, hmm. Forsyth practically walks behind you tossing out rose petals. <laughs> tossing out petals. rose petals. But some of us common folk just aren't ever going to relate to you. You know what? What do I know? Forget I said anything, sir. Python, wait. <laughs> I got a good support. I really like it. Alright, yes. holy shit. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do... I might send... Like, so... I've leveled up Delphia. She's level 5 priestess right now. She's got really good stats. And she has the mage ring, so I'm, I could actually maybe warp Delphia up to that point. What I can do is I could... Um, I could rescue Silk. Oh wait, I need to be a little bit closer for that. So I can rescue Silk so she can so she can warp Delphia up next uh, next turn. I think I'm just going to warp a lot of people up on the payments, actually, because I think just having the height advantage, especially considering you get 20 avoid by being in by being inside there, makes it a lot easier for you to fight there. But anyway, I do need to see how the enemy moves, if they come toward me or what they're going to do. So I'm just going to camp around here and see how they react. Hopefully, Grey will be able to kill those guys. And I'm just kind of physics to get some experience. Alright, let's see how they move. Okay, so as I as I figured, it yeah, 26% chance to hit right here. Grey's doing really well with this Grey Fell. Doesn't quite one run them. Okay, so some of the Barons are moving. But it seems like everyone else is standing still. So maybe it is a wise idea for me to take down as many bow knights as I can. They might actually... Maybe I should have focused on the ones that were about to die, now that I think about it. Or I could warp up Python, that's also a possibility. Python is not terrible now, he's not as good as Grey, but yes, he He's a lot better than he used to be. Anyway, so I'm going to warp up Delphia. On the supply tile, I don't think they're going to hit her, and uh, she has the ability to almost one-run them. She actually kills them completely with the aura, but as you can see, they have a 30% chance to hit. And if they do hit, then I can always uh, just physics her. Oh, Delphia, what? Anyway, so we'll do... We'll do this. Actually, what I also can do is I can warp up Faye and then I can rescue units up. That actually sounds kind of funny. Anyway, so uh, Tatiana has Fortify right now, so it's just a really good uh, spell. And it seems like the Barons at the very least are coming towards me, so maybe I should just let them. Ah, now they're running back to get heals. That's what I thought. Because they got... Rudolph's got some healers around him. In fact, it seems like most of these guys aren't... Hmm, that's kind of weird. Alright, this is what I think I'll do then. I'll get uh, Faye up here. Maybe she can just rescue someone else up. I don't know. It's like a reverse warp anyway, isn't it? Okay, so I think... Uh, it doesn't seem like these bow knights are moving. That's kind of weird. Oh, wait. This is not... Oh, she attacks with her sword? Oh, right. She's a fucking priestess. I forgot. Right, so these bow knights might go for Faye now. I don't really know. But yeah, it seems like this guy at the very least is coming towards us. So maybe we should just move in. Anyway, we have an, yet another support to do. Sir Clive? Forsyth, what's wrong? 
What happened to your usual vim and vigor? I'm sorry, sir. I tried to do as you said. And I mean, I tried everything. But I just can't seem to make it work. What are you talking about? You know, being... <laughs> Foresight, be more loose, please. You asked me to treat you the same way as I do Python, but the only way I could do it was to treat Python with more respect. <laughs> and the filthy things that man says. We ended up coming to blows. Lucas had to step in and pull us apart. How can I ever treat him like you? I think you may have approached the problem <laughs> the wrong way. So, Clive, why can't things just stay the way they are? You're the land's finest knight, a symbol of everything I've ever admired. And I know this is strange, considering how long we fought together, but I still get excited every time I have a chance to speak with you. If I seem tense or get carried away, it's probably because of that. Do you know what I mean? Huh. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we are? You're finally starting to open up. Just don't overthink it, alright? Also, I assure you that I am not worthy of such levels <laughs> I of I love how Clive is self-aware. You've seen all the terrible mistakes I've made. I feel guilty being put on anyone's pedestal. Nonsense, sir. True, losing Sophia Castle was a blow, and we've seen our share of failures, but I've watched you closely. Every time you picked yourself up, dusted yourself off, and kept going. You are the reason we all still have hope. I want to put you on my pedestal. I want you pedest because it's my faith in you that gives me the courage to fight without fear. I know all may be our leader now. Sorry. But you're <laughs> honor, you should remember that. <laughs> I shall. And forgive me for asking you to change who you are. I realize now that you're already the sort of man the deliverance needs. Y you mean it, sir? Oh, thank you. You honor me. Anyway, um, enough of that. Wow, we have yet another conversation? Holy shit, how many supports have we done this chapter? Oi, Lucas. What is it, Python? I'm still waiting for a good sordid story involving knights. So what about you? Me? My past is hardly sordid enough to save your appetite for gossip. Are you sure? You know. All the ladies in town keep asking me who the knight in red is. Lucas is very popular. Means they're not paying attention to me, so thanks. But you can make it up to me with an earful of tasty noble scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. <laughs> I don't see how that makes any sense whatsoever, but very well. Well, back home, there was a woman I courted for many a year. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Was she a looker? Was it serious? Were her eyes like shimmering? Stop pestering me like an old maid. Old maid. Looks like the enemy is nearly upon us. Let's get back to it. Well, he is true. Or he is Wait, right. Come back! I want to hear about your special lady friend! God, Py why is Python so amazing? Okay, okay. Um, We're not going to do much damage to these guys at all. We need Armor Crusher to deal with these guys, I think. Or maybe a Sagitte from Tobin? Could also work. Oh, Oprah! Wow, what a choke point! What a fucking choke point! Anyway, what can Gray do? Well, he can finish off this guy, I guess. It doesn't look like they're moving at all. Maybe, maybe they're coded to move once you get closer or something. Could be. Guess I'll find out. Ah. Uh, Oh, that's right. These guys have javelins. Oh, good one, Python. Free damage. Lovely. <laughs> Amazing, Python. You you amaze me. Spectacular. Okay, that that missed. And this guy goes for. I think this would have killed the old uh, <laughs> old Luthier before he got any levels. Okay, I don't know if it was such a good idea to put Delphia off the supply tile at all. But yeah, these guys are very strange. Yeah, they're running back for healing. That's what they're doing. And these guys have fortify, so... Okay, so now these guys have started moving as well. It's a good thing they're not all charging me at the same time, I guess. Okay, so we need to get past here somehow. Uh, do we have Armor Crush? We have Hit and Run. I think uh, Lucas learns Armor Crush at some point. But I think uh, we probably want to move Foresight back, I think. 
At least Clive. We want to move Clive back. Because I think Tobin has uh, Excalibur. And he doubles. But where's Luthier? I, I, I know Luthier has the uh, Matron. So maybe we'll just move uh, Foresight back and have Alm take this guy out with a double lion. He has a 29% chance to crit. That's good enough for me. But it wasn't enough, sadly. It's just so fucking cluttered in here. Okay, Python actually kills the guy. That's good. You see, Python being useful. The Blessed Bow was really the best fit for him, since it's so damn accurate. Okay, so maybe we can use... I don't... Tatiana's not really a good fighter at all. But if I can heal Luthier up, I can use Fortify, I guess. Yeah, let's use Fortify. Boom. Easy pickings. Then we can use Excalibur, and that, I mean, 31% chance to crit. How about a Sagitte? Oh, that's actually going to be a kill, but that is also going to kill me. So unless I can attack him from the slot where... If I could attack him from, like, further away, then that'd be great. But well, that's not going to happen, so... I mean, 37% chance to crit is pretty good. Let's, let's try it, shall we? Come on. Not going to happen, apparently. Hmm. Okay, if we attack... Oh, wait, Lucas actually kills the guy. Okay, that's good. Then we can move someone else in. I wonder if maybe a hit and run would have killed him. Oh! Nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Nothing personnel. Okay, uh, this will be a kill. Or not. So I gave Luthier the speed ring, because he has 10 base speed right now, which is not great. So I figured that he needed an upgrade. Anyway, I think it's time for armor crush. Wait, oh, he has the Gungnir right now. Who has armor crush right now? Nobody? Yes, I also crafted the new lens for Matilda, but it's actually not that great. Um, it doesn't, it's no longer effective against cavalry. At least I don't think it is. It doesn't seem to be, and that's a big problem in my opinion. Because, um, well, it would have been really good. Anyway, I did, I did forge Siegfried for Sieg. So maybe he can get something done here. How dangerous are these guys? They're not that dangerous. Alright. Let's try to do some damage to this guy. This javelin needs to go down. Boom, 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 boom. There's two gold knights. There's also some bow knights. That is, I should have saved my fortify. I don't know why I spent it so quickly. Maybe Matilda can do some damage here. Hmm. I'm assuming the Lance has good personal skills, at the very least. Anyway, I think it's... Oh, wait, maybe Grey can help? No, he can't reach. Anyway, I'm gonna send Grey to snipe the other Bow Knights, since they're running to get heals. I don't want them to join the front lines, that would be really fucking annoying. Meanwhile, up here... I mean, they aren't doing anything. I don't know why they're not doing anything. It's weird as fuck. But it looks like we are able to snipe this guy, and then we can use Fade to heal him. I, they're, they don't, they're just not moving, so... I don't know what they're doing, but they're just not moving. Alright, do we Physics here? Uh, or do we Recover? I think we Recover. Yeah, we definitely Recover. Not as high as I would like her to be. Maybe I should do another Physics. Oh wait, we can Invoke. I think that might not be such a bad idea. There we go. Dreadfighters on the front lines. Yee boy! Oh, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Bow Knight duel! <laughs> Look how he throws the arrow up in the fucking air before he shoots it. Ooh, this is not good. Dodge. Good job. Good job, girl. Why you ain't firing back? I thought you had the mage ring. Well, all right. They're fortifying. Hmm. I think, I think Seek's gonna be fine here, because he can't get attacked by anyone else except for the Baron. So unless the Baron moves back and throws a javelin, 
then I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. These gold knights are tanky as shit. Gold knights with fucking s s silver shields. This map ain't fucking around. But I, we only need to kill Rudolph, though. So maybe we should go and pull him after we've dealt with these guys. Oh, oh, he's here. He's here. Holy shit. Maybe we should just try to rush him? Okay. I think we might be able to just rush him. He doesn't have a lot of resistance. He has 16 rest, but he has 20 extra luck, so his magic avoid is pretty huge. Alright, well, um... Let's see if he, he works like he did in uh, Gaiden, because uh, in Gaiden he didn't attack Alm. So I assume it's the same way now? I mean, only one way to find out, right? Let's just try to circ him. I, I'm coming, don't you worry. Oh, nice one. Crit. This ends here. Yeah. Rudolph isn't attacking for some reason. He would double Alm, though. This fucker's fast. So that that was the case in Gaiden as well. Rudolph. But he will. He will attack other uh, units, though. So I need to bring him down this turn. So let's try... I mean, we might as well kill this guy. I don't think Lucas is going to do any meaningful damage to to Rudolph anyway, so I'm just going to move him out of the way. It's done. Let's try. Let's start with uh, Tobin first. Then Excalibur. Mm, that can do 15 damage. How about a uh, Sagittarius? Four damage. 16 damage with Sagittarius. That's pretty good. Would be nice to get Delphia. Oh, Delphia could probably do great damage to Rudolph. It's too bad she's all the way up here. Yeah, I shouldn't have sent both of my magic users up there. That was kind of stupid. This isn't looking fantastic, if I'm going to be completely honest. Hey, I wonder if Seeks has a special conversation with Rudolph. I don't, I don't really want to find out, though. Alright, let's go. 16 damage. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. This is not great at all. I think Rudolph's gonna absolutely thrash me. 25 crit. Oh. Shit. This is not great. Wraith Strike can do 6 damage. How about Lunge? Oh, we can swap uh, places with uh, Rudolph. That might be useful. Let's try it. Hey, Rudolph. Don't crit me, please. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Let's lunge the fucker. Hey, I wonder... If we can get Rudolph... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... Hey, I think we can actually attack him with Delphia if we rescue her. Because she has really high range. Now, if we can get him one spe space cl closer, do we have lunch on anyone else? No, I think that's Clive's Lance doing uh, doing work right there. Hmm. I mean, I might do three damage with Python, right? Yeah, this isn't this isn't looking very good at all. If I'm going to be completely honest, this is not looking good. Matilda cannot do shit. I think I'm pretty fucked. I think I think my mistake was was warping. If I could, I don't know, if I somehow survive this, like, I mean, I guess I got some revival fountains that I can use. Hmm. We also have, yeah, I, I guess I can afford losing a couple guys, right? We can use Temp- Ooh, look at this. Temp Tempest Lance actually does really good here. We might still be able to do this. If we back off with C, because he's pretty injured... That's a lot of damage from Rudolph, though. Mm. Let's try it. Oh, okay. That's good. Let's hope he doesn't crit. Mm. 
You know, that Tempest Lance actually did a lot of damage. Oh, I like how, uh, how Clive was the one saying that. Come on, get a crit! Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Tempest Dance! Oh! Oh no, I thought that was a crit. Okay. Is he gonna crit me soon? 12 hit points left. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> Alright, um, shit. Well, I think I'm gonna lose a lot of my dudes this turn. Good. Now take care of the rest. Look at Delphia, though. Holy shit. She fucking murders this guy. Well, maybe I can at least kill this guy, right? Well, I tried. Yeah, so I, I, am, I am screwed. I am absolutely screwed here. I am utterly screwed. No, that is not gonna work out. Resistance to magic, not really going to help, I'm afraid. I mean, maybe I can take down a Bow Knight at the very least? Nope. Alright, looks like I am indeed screwed. At least I'm gonna position Claire right here. To give some bo uh, support bonus to Matilda. Yeah, I am... I am absolutely screwed right here. <laughs> yeah. Down goes Cliff. But if that's the only guy, I mean, I can revive him. I got three uses of the revival fountain. There goes my second. Oh, never mind. She's what the hell? She actually survived. So if if those are the only two characters I lose, then I can actually take advantage of the revival fountain. But we'll see. Because I'm pretty sure I can kill Rudolph on this turn. Okay. Tobin does not get doubled by this gold knight. The enemy is kind of bad at focusing. Will this be a dead gold knight? I think so. Good job. Good job, Tobin. Tobin's actually really high level. Okay, I actually don't want you to kill this guy, Tobin. So please don't crit. Tobin, you're getting yourself killed here. I think I have three uses of the fountain. Okay. Alright, casualty number three. My okay, I think I think this is good. Okay, we're going for it. Okay, here comes the dread fighters. <laughs> actually this is oh no, actually this is good, because Rudolph probably one runs these guys. Okay, we're gonna go for it, guys. We are gonna go for it. But since... Let's see, can Delphia... Now, Delphia cannot do anything else, so I am just going to do as much as I can here. I mean, maybe I can, like, physics up Tobin or something, just to pre to reduce his chances of dying. Alright, let's go for Rudolph. I'm pretty sure Alm has, like, a guaranteed chance of killing him, actually, with Double Dragon at this point, so... I should probably just... Well, I'm going to focus most of my attacks on him anyway, because I want to make sure he dies. Okay, I think he's something. I think he's within double dragon kill for Alm right now. So let's, but let's keep a couple soldiers as backups just in case, right? Uh, Claire can kill this guy or do some nice damage to him. I think we got Gray who can probably help out a little bit as well. There we go. I can handle it. Bom, bom, bom. I think I want to keep Luthier as a backup, if anything. All right. Matilda can kill this Bonite. Or I guess what I can do is I can kill with everyone, and then I can then I can use the turn wheel. 
Or I could give the kill to Lucas. Lucas actually has a pretty good chance here. If I uh, if I attack Rudolph with the fire spell, then Lucas can actually get the kill. But of course, that is always a possibility. How about Forsyth? Can he survive a turn of combat against Rudolph? He can. Unless Rudolph crits, of course, which is a possibility. But he didn't. Okay, so now I can actually kill, get the kill with Lucas. Hey, need to heal. Which means that Alm can do something else. Although, I guess it is kind of poetic to kill Rudolph with Alm, isn't it? Alright, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Alright, let's go. Got him. This is it should be. It's almost as if someone's watching over me. Who could that be, I wonder? <sighs> All right. We did it, boys. Cinematic time. You've done well. I'm proud of you. My son. What? I knew I was right to entrust you to my dearest friend. Your friend? You mean... My son? What's going on here? What are you saying? I thought you'd have realized by now your true name. Your true name is Albine Om Rudolph. Of course, I already knew this because I watched uh, both Gas and Ray's uh, playthroughs of Gaiden. But man, this is a nice uh, retouch of the scene. You are my one and only son. I... What? That can't be true. You're lying. Why should I believe a word you say? <coughs> be still, Om. I haven't time left to explain. But I beg you to grant me one final favor. You want a favor from me? Take the divine fortune that sealed Miller's strength. Doma has become a thing of mindless evil use the blade and destroy him please my son you must no wait emperor rudolph were you truly my father then i've just oh gods what have i done <laughs> <laughs> Voice acting in this game is so fucking on point. Holy shit, it's so good. Oh, oh man. What's going on here? Oh, is Celica gonna be retarded again? Stop! Please, no more! Um, how has it come to this? The boy will come to slay Lord Duma ere along. A fool's errand, I fear, without fortune. Om is coming here? Please, you mustn't hurt him! My soul alone is all you need, yes? Oh, no. Oh? Then you will offer up your soul to Lord Duma willingly? I will. If it saves Alm, I will surrender my soul gladly. <laughs> now, come with me. Selica, you dumb. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to uh, make a cut and continue the next part. Uh, there will be Echoes out on the channel every single day until I complete this game now. No, no other Let's Plays except for my 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 evening Let's Plays, which is going to be like a mix of Civ 5 and uh, XCOM 2. But as far, as far as Fire Emblem content, I'm going to be playing Echoes every single day until I complete the game now. And that, then after that, I'm going to do my next Let's Play. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do give it a like and a comment if you did. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.